also known as rummaging redhead on Poshmark and my Facebook business page. Uh, I am a Coast Guard spouse, my husband who's active duty. We are stationed here in Washington State. I am a stay-at-home mom with four munchkins uh, and this is my part-time hobby that has made me uh, a, quite a bit of cash and I'm just, uh, gonna go ahead and give you my tips and tricks for the bins. Uh, the bins are also known as the Goodwill Outlet. Reverse that. They are called the Goodwill Outlet, also known as the bins to um, people that go there a lot. Um, here in Washington State, or, uh, we have three that I'm aware of. There's Tacoma, Seattle, and then the Everett location that I go to uh, weekly. It is going to be pay by the pound, uh, which is absolutely the best price you could possibly get at any thrift store. Honestly, there's no way to beat it. Um, pay by the pound for shoes, clothing, housewares, linens, toys, everything. Um, there is a price breakdown. I picture that I will post um, with the, within the video. Um, I do mostly clothing and shoes. That is a dollar seventy nine a pound. So you can just imagine how much you can get with that. I'm going to be cautious when I go because I know jeans are gonna be heavier than blouses and like workout leggings things like that so you definitely want to be cognizant of what you're picking up um, that's gonna go towards your um, final cost but again if you're buying so much I mean a dollar seventy nine you can't go wrong um, which is another thing that when I pick up something and if I am doing a quick scan and I don't really realize that something may have a hole or a rip or a stain that I didn't see while I was there um, and I come home and I go to go list it and I realize it's not a big deal I paid maybe a dollar for that one item. Who cares? Like just toss it out or try and fix it, whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, so that doesn't make me feel too bad as far as if I went to a real thrift store and paid $10 for something and it was ruined and I was, oh, that'd be heartbreaking. Um, so I'm gonna go into some quick little tips and things, things that I do to make my trips easier because I have two munchkins with me. I put the two-year-old in the cart and he has his iPad and he is a happy camper. I throw the baby in her baby carrier on me and she is a happy camper and we just do our thing. Um, and then when I do have the two older kiddos with me, they are one likes to uh, take the videos. So I apologize for the crazy camera style that goes on in those bins uh, videos. Uh, she's only eight, so cut her some slack. She's learning. Uh, but they like to grab things and ask me, do you want Do you want this? Do you want this? Oh, can you know? So they're helpful in their own ways. Um, but tips and tricks that make it easier for me is always wear gloves. Always, always, always wear gloves. I can't stress that enough because it is, it's dirty. It's not 
organized. There's no organization to a Goodwill bins besides the category. So once the pile of clothes are in these deep blue bins and you just start digging through them, you don't know what you're going to be touching. And honestly, that kind of freaks me out a little bit. And that's something I had to get over. But seriously, gloves, game changer. Totally cool. Um, again, I mean, with shoes and things, I mean, to each their own. But I wear gloves. Um, another thing that I do, uh, based on past experiences, I wear a fanny pack that has my debit cards, my, my keys and, uh, extra pair of gloves as well as like a snack bar or something, just because if you're there for a while, you're probably going to get hungry. Um, but I have lost a debit card in the bins. Uh, it was a terrifying moment because I guess it was in my pocket. I pulled my phone out of my pocket. The card went flying, never saw it. Thankfully, some awesome human being went ahead and gave it to the front. So I did get it back. But in case that doesn't happen and you never see your card again, like that's not cool. So fanny pack, fanny pack. Um, another thing that I do is I bring a reusable Ikea bag or something similar. Um, large enough to kind of hold everything. Um, I know you have the cart, but they don't have, um, bags to leave the store with. So when you buy it, you're like lugging out all of these clothes. Uh, so I just bring an Ikea bag, um, or a reusable kind of a durable bag, um, to carry my stuff out to the car. Uh, again, I've got two kids with me. I don't need to be carrying ginormous loads of laundry, um, or falling everywhere. Cause I know I'm a hot mess, but like, Let's minimize it. Ikea bag. Um, I also would like to say that when you are there, I don't know how cutthroat uh, the other Goodwill bins are, but there have been, I mean, people fight over shoes when the shoe bins come out. Um, mine gets a little crazy with housewares. Uh, I don't know why, because most of the stuff is broken. So like, that's not my area of expertise, but whatever. Um, so depending on how crazy your people are and again you don't know everyone's intentions um maybe bring a blanket or something to go over your stuff once you've thrown it in the cart um just so no one really kind of like rummages through your your stuff um not cool I know but just to kind of cover your bases I would do that um or just find like a big jacket to go over everything um another thing I do is I end up throwing in a ton of stuff like one after the other oh American Eagle cool grabbed it oh free people cool I grabbed it Lululemon grabbed it and I just throw everything in I then in turn at the end before I go pay I pull everything back out I, I mean like I put it on the floor and I'm like all right yes keep no get rid of um because I'm checking <clears throat> I'm checking for holes stains rips things I can't fix. Um, I look at the size. I just kind of do a general overview, make sure that it is something that I, it, one, that's worth selling and two, that is minimal effort on my end when I get home. Um, so that's a big thing for shoes as well. Always kind of, I mean, I'm checking the soles. I'm checking for like, I'm bending on making sure they're not ripped, especially, especially rain boots always like kind of squishing them, making sure because you can see if there's cracks in the rubber, huge. I have made that mistake so many times thinking I got great hunter boots. Come to find out holes, cracks in the rubber, not fun. Um, so definitely do a, just a general look through uh, before you actually go to pay. Um, this will also minimize you grabbing things that you completely, like if you only found one shoe and you were already, you were looking for, the pair and never found it, but then you were in line and paying. <sighs> I have bought many single shoes that don't have their pair and it is a very sad day because what am I going to do? And I do know that people like to sell single shoes for their own, however they want to do it, their business model. I just personally don't. So something again, just do a quick overview, scan all your rare items in your cart before you go to pay. Um, because you might end up with something that you completely forgot and you don't need and or want. Let's see. I am trying to think of any other tips and tricks uh, because it's kind of a crazy world in there. And I didn't even realize that not everybody even knows what a Goodwill outlet or a Goodwill bins is. I did not know until I moved here um, and someone had mentioned, hey, do you, you like thrifting? There's the 
pay by the pound place. And I was like, what is that? It's the Holy Grail. Um, so again, it's these ginormous blue bins. There's no rhyme or reason. Everything is just thrown into this huge pile. And it is either raw donations that have never been to a store, but got dropped off to a store and the store couldn't put it out on the, sh on the floor. So they send it to the Goodwill bins or it is stuff that didn't sell at Goodwill stores and they are now like you'll see that it has the tag still from how they priced it at a store and it just didn't sell. So then now it's here. So that is. So yeah, no rhyme or reason. Everything is dumped into these massive bins. And again, you are digging through it. So again, wear gloves. Um, housewares, linens, books, shoes, clothing. They all have different price ranges for um, how much whatever I'll post that picture in a second um but again I'm, I mean it's a digging game I do also recommend that when at least at my location when new shoes come out and new clothing comes out it is a like it's a frenzy of people lining up we can't shop until they're all the bins are out and the guy says okay shop because people start trying to like get in there without listening um so it is a frenzy I will forewarn you to one be careful two like people are going to bump into you people are going to be um like reaching over you and things like that I personally try to stay away at that time only because I've got the baby on me and I've got my kiddo in the cart um so I'm trying I'm not trying to bump and reach and fight over things with the kids with me I'm not sure that I would really want to do that regardless but uh, just be forewarned that that is how people are acting, um, trying to find the best things. Um, and that's not even to say that they're looking for the same things you are. So whatever, if they've already picked through it and they didn't grab that Lululemon because that's not their target audience, or they didn't grab all of those American Eagle jeans because that's not what they primarily sell. Like, cool. I'll scoop those up when they're done duking it out and stuff, you know? So definitely, um, Stay true to what you uh, like to sell. Stay um, focused on what you are looking for. Um, not everybody is there for the same things that you are. Some people are solely there to buy for their own families, um, which don't get me wrong, I grab things all the time for myself and my kids and my husband gets things too and it's great. Um, but not everybody is there for what you are looking for. So it doesn't have to be a fight over things. Um, shoes, people do fight over shoes though, which is kind of, Oh, thank you. Um, a lot of the time, if one person has one shoe, the other person has the other, they do a coin flip uh, to, at least at mine, that's what they do to kind of determine, you call it in the air, whoever gets the other shoe. Um, kind of the best way to be most fair about the situation. Um, but otherwise, I mean, I hope everybody at least tries the bins. I don't think um, it's, it's definitely a little, a little intimidating, but I don't think it's like a scary place. It's definitely going to be the best return on investment. Um, definitely best cost of goods you could possibly get at any thrift store. Um, so definitely give it a shot. If you have one close to you, it's totally going to be worth it. Um, and again, I've only spent under a hundred dollars this month of March. Um, and I have made over $2,000 in, um, profit. So, I mean, that's pretty amazing. And I think that a lot of other people could be doing this, um, especially if they are stay at home moms or military spouses that are in between jobs right now because, oh, it's PCS season and blah, blah, blah. Um, you guys get it. So uh, definitely, um, ask me questions, reach out to me. Um, my Facebook page is rummaging redhead.